Nola Jet here at Yaya's. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Food Restaurant Review Vlog, we visit Yaya's Comfort Food on our travel search for the best plate lunch options in New Orleans. Yaya's Comfort Food is located in the New Orleans suburb of Harahan at 2317 Hickory Avenue, which is about 11 miles and 23 minutes away from the French Quarter. Yaya's Comfort Food is one of the most affordable restaurants for New Orleans breakfast and lunch, with many saying it is their choice for the best value for a New Orleans area restaurant. Yaya's is a popular neighborhood spot for the residents and workers in the area for their variety of good choices. Yaya's has become noted for their affordable daily plate lunch specials that feature a lot of great New Orleans and Southern food. This is a great spot for breakfast and lunch with daily specials, po'boys, and other traditional Southern food and New Orleans food. So let's head on inside here and check this place out. So I've been around this area many times in the past, but I've never noticed Yaya's until recently because it has such a small sign on the outside and it's right next to the camp, which kind of overwhelms the advertising space with their much bigger sign. So I was really glad to finally notice this spot, as it really is a great place to check out. They're only open for breakfast and lunch, and they do some really great food in here, and they've got a lot of nice decorations inside that give it a lot of character, and they have a great vibe in here, and it's always really popular with some pretty consistent regulars. So they have part of their menu in here on the chalkboard, so they have their po' boys on dong fong Vietnamese bread, so they have the El Polo Loco, which is fried chicken, Yaya Special, which is pork belly and pimento grilled cheese, and the Hot Hot, which is Patton's Hot Sausage, the Bubba, fried shrimp tossed in house-made remoulade, the New Orleans Classic Roast Beef. Then they have their chalkboards with their rotating daily specials, and then they also mix up the daily specials all the time, too. On my very first visit to this restaurant, I wanted to get the barbecue brisket, but they sold out. But I got some later. So they really do have a great selection of different plate lunch specials in here all the time. So the ordering process is simple. You just walk up here and put your order in at the counter and then they bring it out to you later. And you can see some of the food right here in the front as well. And let's take a look at the breakfast menu now. For our entrees, we have the cast iron breakfast with sauteed pepper and onion with fresh spinach, country hash browns and eggs, topped with shredded cheese, your choice of meat, sausage, bacon, or fried or grilled chicken. Duck and waffles, steak and eggs, traditional eggs benedict, French toast, pancakes or waffles, traditional breakfast, which is two eggs your way, your choice of meat, thick sliced pecan wood smoked bacon, or sausage patties, grits or country hash browns and a biscuit, biscuits and gravy, breakfast on the go, chopped meat of your choice, breakfast sausage, thick sliced pecan wood smoked bacon, fried or grilled chicken, scrambled eggs, hash brown and grits with sausage gravy on top, all served in one container. And then traditional breakfast sandwich, which is a three ounce biscuit with eggs and your choice of meat. Breakfast sausage, thick sliced pecan wood smoked bacon, fried or grilled chicken. Then a selection of omelets and your sides with cinnamon rolls, weekends only, sweet cream buttermilk pancakes, Belgian waffle, biscuits and gravy, thick sliced pecan wood smoked bacon, breakfast sausage patties, country hash browns, grits, and eggs your way. So I was a little disappointed they were sold out of the brisket, but I put my order in and walked back to my table and sat down to wait for my food to arrive. And can you guess what I ordered instead? I got this huge, Roast beef po' boy, look how much meat's on here. Whoa, I can't even eat this with my hand right now. This is truly an overstuffed po' boy. I'm gonna have to use my fork to uh, kind of eat down some of the roast beef before I can even pick this thing up and eat it like a sandwich. Cause this thing's exploding out with so much roast beef. This is amazing. This is uh, even better than the brisket, I think. This is a really great roast beef po' boy. Ooh, it's so full of meat. This is a huge sandwich. I don't know if I can finish all of this. This is gonna be quite a challenge to get through. So it's uh, definitely an above average sandwich. Okay, I think I've got it where maybe I can pick this up. I don't know. I might make a huge mess on myself. Let's see, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to maintain 
the structural integrity of all of this, how is it all going to stay inside? Ooh, I don't know. I'm a little scared to take the first bite. Oh, is it going to go everywhere? Oh, well, it's doing pretty well so far, at least. Okay, so maybe. Ooh, there's a little starting to escape out the side, though. I might have to change my strategy and uh, get some of this uh, meat off of the side and just keep uh, very carefully making my way through the sandwich. This thing is so chock full of meat that it's so juicy and delicious and full of gravy. It's really good. I'm enjoying every bite. It's quite tasty and flavorful. And uh, this is gonna be a huge meal. I've got my pace down though, and I'm completely tearing this thing apart. It's going down really easy now. Dong Fong bread is really good stuff. And uh, I think I've totally destroyed the po boy, you would think, but oh no. We have plenty of third meal left down here as a whole lot of the roast beef has fallen out. So I have uh, an entire new meal of all of this roast beef and a really generous serving of french fries. And the uh, beef and french fries go really well together. It's a good taste combination. It's like some nice gravy fries here. This is a really big meal. I'm getting really full. Ooh, each bite's so delicious. Look at this thing. Ooh, all this meat on the french fry. It's such a delicious combination. I'm having to force it down now, though. I'm so full, but ooh, I have to eat every last delicious bite here. It's just really great french fries, and it goes really well with the roast beef. Here I am, down to my last bite, and now I've destroyed my lunch. So go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this, bow boy. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips, and I appreciate any assistance with that. So the total for my meal was $18.50 with tip. Now we're going to my next visit when I got the Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes and green beans. My dining companion got the fried chicken special. Ooh, so the total for my meal was $17.95 for the Salisbury steak with tip. But I'm gonna dig in, it's still a piece of the chicken. So that was some mighty fine fried chicken. Now I'm gonna dig into this Salisbury steak. All right, this has some nice gravy on it. It looks great, smells great. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, oh, it's good. So this is a nice little piece of meat here. And uh, wow, these mashed potatoes are also looking pretty amazing. So uh, this gravy is just so flavorful. I'm uh, really happy with this dish. So let's dig into some of these mashed potatoes. And oh, perfectly done mashed potatoes. Very delicious. Do a little combo bite now with the mashed potatoes and the meat. And oh, yes, that is very tasty, delicious indeed. This is uh, going to be quite a perfect little plate lunch combination. So this all goes together really well. So this is quite an enjoyable plate lunch. So this is uh, really hitting the spot. It's exactly what I needed. So I'm always glad to have some meat and vegetables. It makes me very happy. I was too full to finish the green beans, but I destroyed everything else. So destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this lunch. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips and appreciate any assistance with that. And my dining companion totally destroyed that fried chicken as well. So the total for my lunch was $17.95 with tip. On my next visit, I finally got my brisket. Yes, it looks great. Now, uh, it does appear to be more of an oven roasted brisket instead of a traditional barbecued brisket, but we'll give it a taste and see. So here we go, and uh, it has nice flavors, but I'm not really getting any smoky barbecue type flavors. So I'd say this is just more of a oven roasted brisket. It's still really good. It's very, very tender. It all tastes quite nicely. And then these beans look very nice too. Ooh, barbecue beans are always a nice thing. Mmm, and they do have a good flavor. And let's try out this potato salad now. It looks really nice. And mmm, 
Ooh, it does taste good too. So, big fan of these flavors. This uh, brisket is uh, nice. So everything here is always steaming hot and delicious. So this is a great plate lunch experience so far with every visit I've had. So it's definitely been all good in my experience for my multiple visits that I've had so far. And everything's been very well flavored and I've really enjoyed my experiences here. Ooh, 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 this brisket definitely is got a lot of flavor. This is such a pretty piece of brisket right here. Look at this. Ooh, you know you want to bite? Come on. Oh. So if it's not barbecued brisket from the hill country of Texas, this is probably my next favorite way of having it. So it's uh, very moist and juicy. It has a lot of flavor. It's not quite uh, as good as Texas Hill Country brisket, but it's a different kind of uh, approach to it. Now, ooh, I'm a big fan of this potato salad. It's really nice. It's got lots of good flavors. It's got some boiled egg in it. This is uh, the perfect example of what I like my potato salad to be. So, two thumbs up for this really excellently prepared potato salad. Mmm, I am a big fan of this. Ooh, I got one last bite left, and I think this might finish me off as I'm really full now. This has been a really great lunch with a lot of good flavors. So I didn't quite destroy my plate, but go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this brisket. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the total for my lunch was $18.94 with tip. So thanks so much to everybody at Yaya's for some really great lunches. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. If you could just go ahead and share this video with any of your contacts or friends that would enjoy it, it really would help me and I really would appreciate it. And make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.